How do you with this video? I want to show you where the first assignment is and how to submit it. Uh, most of the stuff's going to be under here under material and submissions. I'm keeping the YouTube separately because sometimes you might want to go back to them. So you click on this folder. And the first assignments, yeah, it's irritating. Uh, it's going to be reflection number one. It's due on Saturday. And it'll pop up here in a second. Uh, but you're going to have a reading assignment and a viewing assignment. The viewing assignment is an eight-minute YouTube video going over growth mindset versus fixed mindset. And the second one is going to be some material, reading material and self-regulated learning. That reading material is under there under material submission folders for essay number one as well. For the assignment, you're going to give me at least 150 words on your responses to the video and the reading. Uh, you don't have to answer all these questions here. You know, once you get to 150 words, you want to kind of get that ending sentence and get out of it, right? But uh, show me you've read the video, um, watched the video, read the material, and responded to it in at least 150 words. I want it formatted in, in basic MLA formatting, which I'm about to show you how to do in Word and in Google Docs. And uh, it should be sent as a Word uh, document, uh, so I can't read pages. And I don't want to do links with Google Docs. That's just a pain, and half the time they don't work, so I don't get permission. Uh, so I want everything submitted as a Word document, and I'll show you how to do that in Google Docs as well. Uh, you can go to this Purdue site and it'll show you how to format the first page of an MLA paper, or you can just watch this video. <laughs> uh, the way things should be formatted, I'm going to start in Word, then I'll move to Google Docs. First thing you want to do is insert a page number uh, in the header, but you don't want to use head the header function. You want to insert a page number. So we're going to come here to insert page number. We want that at the top of the page. You want plane number three. It should be on the right side. Now it'll pop up that number and it should highlight it. And that's a good means it's going to count your pages. And you want your last name and hit the space key. Uh, make sure you get out of header and footer. You can hit close header and footer or click below the line there. And that's the way it should look. That header should have your last name and the page number in it. After that, you want to double space everything in the body. And on the first page only, you want your name. My name, let me make that a little bit bigger so you can see it. Uh, the class and section number, and notice that it's uh, double spacing. Not that I didn't explain. To go to double spacing, I went to this up and down arrow and hit 2.0. And if you do that before you start, then it'll double space everything once you get going. And this is help co op. I have a hard time typing co op. And then you want the date uh, with the day. Three lettered abbreviation and the year. Then, for every assignment, want some kind of uh, title to it. So, you're going to center that title. To center, I went up here to this, uh, to the alignment uh, area. Uh, generally, it's going to be aligned left, but you want to come here to center. So, you can center that title, and your cursor should move on over. Uh, I'm not going to get very creative with our title here. Then uh, you're going to come back over here to the align left. Then you want to hit tab and then type in that 150 word response. You need to do a little bit better than what I'm doing. Uh, then obviously you're going to save that document somewhere. Uh, where you save it's up to you. I, I strongly recommend you create folders in your computer so you can keep track of all your stuff. I already got to help. And probably want to rename it. You can just uh, click on the file name, rename it. I don't know if you can put a hashtag in the title. And save it as a Word document. And we'll, that'll be it. And we'll show you how to upload that here in a second. For Google Docs, uh, exact same process. Uh, you want to start with a blank document. Pop up here in a second. And same thing, you want to create a page number with uh, in your last name on the header. So we're going to go to insert, and we're going to come down to page numbers. And we want it on the right side, counting pages, just like the first one. And you need to move that cursor in front of that. No, I spelled my name wrong. Uh, but then you want the last name, you want it to count your pages. If you just type in the number one and do a header like that, it's going to say, uh, number one on all your pages. You don't want that. So you want to make sure it's counting your pages. Uh, with Google Docs, you just click down here. Same thing. You want to find that up and down arrow for line spacing and make sure you hit double. 
and same information. Your name, my name, the class, and the date. Military style there. Again, you're going to center the title. Now, to do that, you come up here to a line and you want it to center. And you want to hit enter and make sure you get back to a line left so you're not centering everything. And same thing, type in whatever you got. And to make it a Word document, when you want to go ahead and title your doc, your document, whatever you're going to put, hit enter there. And then to create a Word document out of this, you want to go to File, and then to Download. And you want to download that as a Word document. Uh, if, you have, if you have trouble on your computer with the Word document, you can do rich text format right here. Either way, it will generally give me the same thing. Um, do not do PDF. I cannot mark up PDF files. So Word or rich text format. Uh, depending on your computer, it's going to either pop it up in a little square here in the bottom left corner. I have Word on my computer, so it's going to open it in Word. Then you need to save it to your computer. Uh, same process, file, save as. It'll be a bit different if it pops up in the lower left-hand corner. You'll have to probably, I'm, I'm not sure what you do there. <laughs> I'll have to find a computer with one that doesn't do it if it doesn't work for us. Uh, again, you want to find a place to save it. And there it is. It's going to be a Word document. has the right title. And we're going to save that. Then once you have your document done, you're going to put it into Schoology. And to do that, you want to go to the Submission folder which is down here for Reflection 1. We'll click on this, and we're going to submit our assignment over here. Click Submit Assignment, and you're going to go look for that file. Now, where did it end up here? Oh, that's right. Um, there's our first one there, right? And we'll go ahead and upload, upload them both, but it's going to be the, the same thing. I'm just double clicking on that to get it up there. Uh, you can put a comment on there. Uh, don't ask questions in the comments. Send me an email for questions. And that should do it. Should be able to hit submit and put it in the document. And there you are. You got two, two items submitted for that folder. And hopefully you're ready to go. Then I'll pull those out of that, that spot, that area, and grade them for you. Uh, if you have any questions or trouble trying to do the assignment or you can't find anything, uh, let me know. Uh, again, if you do pages, then you got to export as a Word document and save it to your computer. Same kind of process as Google Docs, uh, but uh, you know, either way you do it, make sure I'm getting a Word document there. If you have any questions, be sure and let me know, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.